Hi everyone, welcome back to GameMakerCast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we'll be looking at audio pitches in GameMaker Studio 2. So let's roll that introduction and get right into it. So first off, what is an audio pitch? By default, each sound has a default pitch of 1.0. If we change this pitch to something lower, our sound will be deeper, and if we change it to above something 1.0, then it will become a higher pitch sound, such as a squeal. So take for example this little project we have in front of us where I can shoot my machine gun. If I hold down my trigger button, you can hear the sound happening. However, there's no real randomization. So what if we change this to have some randomized pitch? So now that when I shoot my machine gun, we'll have a little bit of a different sound, but we're only using one sound effect. So we can use this little effect on a number of different sounds, whether it's in game or it's UI. Let's take a look at how we can actually do this. So in my project here, if I go into my step event and I maximize this, you can see that whenever I'm holding down the left mouse button, I'm then playing that shot. Now this is not a randomized pitch or anything. So how I like to do this is I like to create a new script file and I will call this actually, let's say play sound. And this is gonna be my kind of default override. Now the play sound is gonna accept a few different arguments. We're gonna have a sound clip, which is going to be needed to pass in always. And then we're gonna have a few optional parameters. We'll have a randomized pitch and we'll just set that defaults. Then we'll have the low pitch. So how far down we can go and we'll set that to 0.5 for default. And then a high pitch and we'll set that to something like 1.5. Now inside, we need to check if we are going to randomize the pitch. So we could say if we are randomizing the pitch, so that equals true, then what we can do is we can set the pitch on that particular sound. Now we can do this with another function called audio sound, and we want audio sound pitch. We'll accept the sound clip that we are about to change the pitch on, and then we will use a random range function between the low pitch and the high pitch. We'll close off that function, and now that will set our pitch for us. Now I'm gonna copy this and make an else statement because if we've already changed the pitch and then we don't want it randomized anymore, then we need to set the pitch back to the default of one. Finally, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use an audio play sound. And because I don't really use a lot of different sounds in my game, the priority really doesn't matter to me. So I'm just gonna pass in the sound clip a priority of 10 and say, no, it does not loop. If you have a lot of sounds in your game, you might wanna pass that priority inside your parameters. Now, if we wanted to actually make this work, what we could do is we could come back to the step event. And if we wanted to kind of write this line of code right here, all we would need to do is we would say play sound, we'd pass in the sound shot, and then that would be it. Because of the default parameters, we would be using what we just had written below. So if I hold down my mouse button, you can see that we're not randomizing the shot sound anymore. However, if I come back and I set this to true, we are going to override the pitch and we are going to have multiple sounds happening here. That really sounds horrible. So what we can do is we can come in and we could modify the low pitch and also the high pitch on what our range is going to be. And with a little bit of tweaking, we should be able to figure out a good sound effect to have in our game. But you can see I'm only using one sound and I'm randomizing that pitch and it kind of creates a whole new depth to the game. So hopefully you're able to use this in your projects. It's a huge thing. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you just watched or anything else on the channel, please subscribe to help the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. I would also like to thank the following users from my Patreon site. Edward, Ashby, David, Paul, Mary, Timothy, Robert, Thrysite, Annie, and Victor. Once again, thank you everyone for the support, and I'll catch up with you in the next video.